Guys, it's the Glygon Gamer here, and this is the start of a new um, series I'm doing. It's my history with wrestling games. Um, we're getting off to a pretty strong start here. We are playing SmackDown, the first ever SmackDown game, released on the PlayStation 1 in, I think, March of 2000, if I'm correct. I don't know, I'll have to look it up later. By the way, I do apologise if there's a glare. I really do apologise for this glare. It's just, it's early in the morning and this is the only time I can make videos, so... Uh, you'll just have to put up with a song, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, if you can see me in the TV, you'll just have to put up with it. <laughs> what the... That was a bit random. Um, right. Get in an exhibition match. This is a single match because this is a. If I have enough time, I might play two matches. No manager, and the roster, the roster in this game is very small, but it's very good. You've got Stone Cold, Undertaker, The Rock, my all-time favorite. Stone Cold being my second all-time favorite. Triple H, Big Show. Mankind, yeah, the music uh, cuts off sometimes. Mankind, aka McFoley, X Park, Billy Gum. That is, that is quite possibly the worst name anyone could have. Of all the names he could have chosen, Mr. Ass. Really? Like, what kind of name is that? Anyway, we got Road Dog, Kane, Bye CJ, Chris Jericho. Al Venus, The Godfather, D. Lou Brown, Mark Henry, Ken Shamrock, The Big Boss Man, who, uh, who I believe is dead now. He died in 2004, I think, from a heart attack. By the way, I looked that up on YouTube. Al Snow, I think, I think that's... Why does he have Help Me written backwards on his forehead? That... No, no, just... May it sort your life right. <laughs> Hardcore Holly, The Legend, Steve Blackman, Test, Edge, Christian, Gangrel, Ron Simmons, aka Farouk, Bradshaw, aka JBL, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Bubba Ray and Devon, and they have just recently retired. Or as they have been, they have went out on Raw being attacked by Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. That is how they went out. They were attacked by Gallows and Anderson on their final night with the company. Incredibly disrespectful. Anyway, we got Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, China, RIP, Corey, Deborah, Paul Bearer, and that's it. So. I'm gonna go with the rock here. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Oh, come on. Right, we're ready to go. Now I'm gonna fight against. I'll just randomize. I'm not looking. Oh, ho, 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 the rock versus bad guy. No. Yeah, let's just give him two. Because. Right, okay, match legs. Right, just get, change this up. No limit. How long have we been recording for, actually? Oh, well, like four minutes already. Interruptions, no. Arena one, let's have it. Yeah, let's just have it at that. And let's go. Yes. Now, as you'll see in a minute, the entrances are not exactly the yeah. This is just basically what the entrance is. It's just the it's just it's just the characters Titan Tron playing with them walking in front of it. Because the reason for that is because the game was so graphically updated from the Acclaim games. This is the first one made by THQ, the first WWF game made by THQ, and. The entrances, the game was so graphically updated from the ones from those games that they had to um, 
toned down the entrances a little bit, so that's the reason for the um, entrances being like this. Or so I heard. I mean, some of them are okay. They're not terrible, but they could be better. I mean, I, I was fine with them. Some people on YouTube don't like them, and that's fine by me. And I think I have to set them to normal difficulty, which could be a problem, because I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> In fact, I'm terrible at this. What's the reversal button? Wait, let's oh, I did something. Oh, come on, <laughs> seriously. I'm getting dominated here. Missed him. Oh, I got him. All right, toss. Right now, if you press L2, you can taunt. Come on. Come on, Rock. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. I'm not going to be playing as a Rock in every single game. I'm just going to be playing it. I'm and the crowd is not exactly great. I mean, the crowd doesn't look too good either, but, I mean, come on, what would you expect? It's a, it, it's a PS1 wrestling game, so you would expect the crowd to be not very graphically updated. But the, oh. Yep, yeah, I've probably lost. No, I, oh, I can't tell you. Yes. Oh. Missed a chance. Yes! Here it comes! Here comes the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. The people's elbow! Now, I predict he's going to kick out of this. Yes. Why else would I predict that? Oh, <laughs> someone will drop. Ow. Oh. I know the way. Well, that went well. I think I might have to change the difficulty setting in this one. Hey, right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, okay, so I've changed the difficulty to easy because um, I'm a worse. Always have been a worse, always will be. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I think we're gonna play a little bit of Stone Cold Steve Austin for this one. By the way, best wrestler. By the way, most badass wrestler ever with the most badass theme song ever. I love. Oh come on. Right, let's go. All right, um, then we're gonna play against Keen, I think. I got many finishes because we didn't want to lose, do we? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, right, let's go. Let's do this. And um, yeah, if you haven't, if you just port this, but I am using a classic PS1 controller because what the? Where's? No, oh, hang on. I want to see the entrances. I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just want to see the entrances. Best theme song ever. <laughs> Apart from Triple H, of course. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry for the cut out there. I just I just had I just wanted to see his this answer so badly. I, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. Of course, I prefer The Rock, but this guy's still one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. And this wire is. Right, this is Kane's entrance. I think this would scare kids when they're first playing this. You'll probably realise why. If a kid saw that when he if a kid saw that play this for the first time, he would no less run out he would no less jump out the window. 
Wow, I am terrible with these puns. I am ter I am terrible with puns. I am terrible with jokes. Anyway, enough jokes. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay. Since when does Kane know how to do a drop kick? Okay, there's no way Austin can get his feet up that high, seriously. He is not. There's no way he's that athletic. All he does is drink beer and eat. All he does is drink beer, eat, swear, and throw his finger up at everybody. I like the way they, like, made the ring aprons move, but when you. If you hit a move, like. If you, if you hit a move, the ring apron move, which I think was a nice little addition. kind of adds to the feeling of gameplay. We're not going to hit a finisher yet. We're going to... Beat him up. Good, well done. Side slam. Low blow. <laughs> this I think this came out in March 2000 when the WWF was pretty much at its peak of um, fame. I mean, because back in 1989 and 2000, back in like 19 from 19 from like early 1987 through 1989, the WWF was just like insanely popular. Up, up until 1987, it was they were being absolutely dominated by WCW because of the NWO. Because of yeah, because of the NWO, they have guys like Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Big Show, Ted DiBiase, Eric Bischoff, and yeah. But then they introduce Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, The Rock, Mankind, the evil, evil character that was Vince McMahon, and uh, from then on, they just took off. It was never lost. The ratings the WCW again, the Night Mankind won the WWF title. Three, WCW tried to, um, four, tried to, what's the word? They five, spoiled it, they said, they said live on one of their shows that Mankind was going to win the title. But it backfired because half of the WCW viewers turned off WCW and turned and went and watched Raw so that they could see Mankind win the WWF title. So, bit of a backfire there, but I'm I'm starting to ramble now, so I'll just stop. Come on. I really like how detailed the entrance stage is. Like the entrance stage looks really, really good in this game. And right, I think I'm gonna lift him up now. Lift him. Stutter. Oh, come on. <sighs> come on. Lift him up and stun him. Oh, come on, he's in the ropes again. There we go, I can pin him now. Three stunners, surely that's it. Two. Three. Yes! Yay, I won! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! I, I, I had to do that. <laughs> I do want to go around to picking up uh, Warzone and Attitude, because I've seen gameplay on YouTube and a lot of people hate WWF Attitude because I thought it was basically the exact same game as WWF, WWF Warzone, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, so thanks for watching. If you did, leave a like or a comment, and I'll see you in my next video.